Okay, so this is a reply to tell me a messed up story. Uh, so I will tell a messed up story. Uh, like a lot of the others, mine is from my childhood. Uh, so when I was a kid, my brother Edward asked me if I wanted to take a trip to the moon. Going to the moon sounded good, but mostly I was just thrilled that my brother wanted to play with me. Being a younger brother, didn't always get a lot of attention other than being beaten up. Should have been suspicious. But my brother had built a beautiful cardboard rocket ship out of a big box, like a refrigerator box or something. And when I climbed in, he had cut a window in the door that he had made and pointed me out the window. And so I'm looking at the backyard and he says, all right, we're going to the moon. He does the countdown, 10, 9, 8, all the way down. We take off and he turns me and now he's drawn a picture of a window and you can see the earth and we're blasting away from it turns me again and you can see the moon, he turns me again, you see this moonscape, I mean he really went all out, it was like Disneyland. And uh, now we're on the moon. And he'd done such a good job that I wanted to run out of that uh, rocket, I was sure that I'd run out and, and see the moon. And he says, hey genius, we uh, have to uh, depressurize first. I said, oh depressurize, of course. So he says, well sit down. And he sits me down and as soon as my butt hit the ground and I slid, I knew what had happened. My brother, while I was looking at the windows he had drawn in the rocket, was looking through the window he'd cut in there and had positioned me over the biggest piece of German Shepherd dog poop in the whole yard. I slid. Whoa! So I get up, I've got dog crap on my tough skins now, and at least I have the solace of knowing that my brother will be busted. So I go running out of the rocket ship, which was now just a cardboard box with drawings on it. The magic was gone, and my brother yells, don't tell. Well, I turn and look at him in amazement. Don't tell. Why on earth would I not tell on you? You made me sit in dog poop. He says, if you don't tell mom what I did, you can poo in a can and I will eat it. Um, if you didn't uh, have older siblings, you may not understand, but revenge was not something younger brothers got to experience very often. And the thought of him having to eat a piece of poop Oh man, I was thrilled. I said, all right, all right, I'll do that. He leads me around the corner. We had a boat leaned up against the wall and underneath the boat, he already had set up a paint can just waiting for me. And he says, go ahead, poop in the can and then bring it to me and I'll eat it. Being the idiot that I am, I pulled my pants right down. I sat down and inspiration hit and sank all the way to my bowels because I did the biggest, most beautiful log of my life. Just wrapped around the paint can, it was just fantastic. I get up and I go walking back around the corner with a shit-eating grin on my face. Pardon the bad pun, I couldn't resist. And there as I round the corner with my prize is my brother and my mom. And he says, Mom, I told him not to poop outside, but I couldn't stop him. And I'm standing there holding a can of my poop. And the only thing I could think of to say as I looked up was, The, the, the cat did it! My mom looks in the can and says, it's bigger than the cat. The most insulting part was that I could see her stifling laughter. She sends me to my room. And I realize that my brother is an evil genius. And that's my messed up story. Less violent than some of the others. I have those stories too, but thanks.